Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Just like the title and the thumbnail said, today we're talking about 6.5 Creedmoor and we are gonna see how much boo lot droppage we get out of it. A lot of people pick up a 6.5 Creedmoor because it's a flat round. Today I'm gonna take you out to the range with my Ruger American. This thing, that's not the right one. A different Ruger American. <clears throat> With this Ruger American, this is my Ruger American Predator, we have several videos with this exact same Bolot Slinger all the way out to a thousand yards. Pick this up for 400 beans, take it out to a thousand, boom, piece of cake, no problem. Uh, but today we're doing 6.5 Creedmoor drop. I'm going to take you out to the range, show you in real life the drop that I get. Then I'm going to show you on a ballistics calculator on paper and see what numbers that calculator spits out. Compare it to what we actually got out at the range. And then I'm going to show you the drop numbers and the dials for your scope all the way out to a thousand yards. This is going to be with some of this Hornady Black. 140 grain boat tail hollow point. So this stuff has a high BC. The interwebs tells me that this has a BC of 0.580. If you're not into the match or precision long range stuff, I've already done this exact same video with 6.5 Creedmoor with some lead nose hunting ammo with a much lower BC that teaches you the holdovers and the dials for hunting purposes with the lead nose hunting round. But today we're using those boat tail hollow points. She'll be able to get some really good groups with them, but let's just take you out to the range quick with this Ruger. Then I'll show you on paper and we'll just see what actually happened in the real world and get you some data all the way out to a thousand that you can use as a baseline. If you're trying to stretch out your 6.5 Creedmoor, should be pretty cool. Check it out. Let's go to the range. Alright, so I don't know about you, but that group we got at 100 yards, we verified the 100 yard sighting. That might be the best group I've ever got with 6.5 Creedmoor. That's three in almost the same hole, two in near the exact same hole, but 0.368 inch group with three shots with that Hornady Black out of my Ruger at 100 yards. So first we had to verify the zero before we took it out even further. So that thing is definitely sighted in at 100 yards. Just about couldn't get any better than that. But then I stretched it out to 200 and did some three shot groups. And at 200, I almost couldn't believe it. Almost shot, uh, I know for a fact this is the best group I've ever gotten at 200 yards. So I did two targets. A three shot group up here and then a three shot group down here. Let's look at the top one first. So I held there with my 100 yard sight in to see how much drop we would get. That's the whole point of this video. And first of all, let's look at that group. That's a three shot group at 200 yards, 0.866 inch group at 200 yards. So needless to say, I'm never getting rid of that Ruger American. 
and I'm going to try to find as much of that Hornady Black as I can find because that stuff is awesome out of that Ruger America. So first off, crazy good group with this combo. Second of all, when I held there, my drop was 4.178 inches with a 100 yard sight in at 200 yards. So at 200 yards with this group, it dropped just over 4 inches. Then we went ahead and did the exact same thing. Group was also very impressive, not quite as good as the first one, two almost touching, but that three shot group there was 4.7, what am I doing? That's the drop, guys. Over here, that group there with the three shots was a 1.144 inch group. Super impressive to me at 200 yards. That's probably the second best 200 yard group I've ever shot. But the drop there on this one, for whatever reason, maybe I just wasn't doing the uh, as good of a hold or what have you but with me flinging them this time I got a 4.7 inch drop at 200 yards so average those two drops together we're gonna go with a four and a half inch drop with a hundred yard sighting at 200 yards with the 6.5 Creedmoor with those 140 grain boat tail hollow points now let me take this data and put it in a ballistics calculator, drop chart calculator, whatever you want to call it, with the BC of those of a 0.580. That's pretty high. There's some that might get a little bit higher in the 0.6s, but the 0.58, ain't. Hey, that's pretty high. Let me show you this chart here all the way out to a thousand yards with the holdovers and the scope dials for the 6.5 Creedmoor. Check it out. So if you take a look at this chart here, you can see I've got the BC plugged in there, 0 0.580, boulot weight, the muzzle velocity there, and with a 100 yard zero. Then you can see if you go down to 200, this chart is saying at 200 yards, it should drop 3.9 inches. So within a half an inch of what we actually saw at the range, our average there was four and a half. Well, we had one that was 4.1 inch drop. So this chart is pretty close to the actual real world data that we got out there at the range. Then if you look there at the elevation columns. So the first one, that's how many drops in inches. The second and the third is what you would need to dial on your scope, whether you got MOA scope or a mill scope. So if you were flinging them at 200, like we did today in this video, with the MOA scope, it'd be 1.8 MOA. For mils, you'd dial for 0.5 mils. Go down to, say, 500, you need to dial 10.6 MOA or 3 mils for 500 yards. That's a pretty good baseline to be slinging them at. Go all the way down to 1,000. That round is dropping 342 inches, which pretty much means nothing to nobody. Or 32 MOA dial or nine and a half mils now one thing to keep in mind that chart that's a real good starting point that's a real good baseline it may be exactly right for your setup but if anything it's going to get you real close with your 65 creedmoor assuming you're using a 140 grain boo lot with a pretty similar bc and it's not 200 degrees out there with 200 mile per hour winds. But that chart is going to get you a real close baseline. If you're new to 6.5 Creedmoor or you're looking for a 6.5 Creedmoor drop chart cheat sheet and that's why you clicked on the video, hey, go ahead and use that chart as your starting point. Definitely need to make sure that you're zeroed in and you can get good groups before you try to stretch it out. But hey, there you go, guys. 6.5 Creedmoor getting incredible groups uh out of this ruger american like i said we've got videos slinging this one at a thousand yards uh with my buddy alabama arsenal uh piece of cake y'all go check out those six five creedmoor long range videos if you haven't already if six five creedmoor isn't necessarily your favorite we've done tons of these videos already with a lot of common rounds 350 legend 450 bushmaster we've done drop charts with 270 223 if you can think of it, we've probably already done a drop chart on it. You'll want to check out those videos. Sometimes it's fun to know and compare the different drop charts. And it's going to save you a whole lot of money and guesswork if you just go with the chart we gave you and not have to do a bunch of guessing. Waste a bunch of money just starting low and gradually going up. But 
appreciate y'all watching. Comment down below what you want to see next time. 6-5 Creedmoor. There's a lot of people that love it. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo -hoo.